everyone, this is Sedi, and welcome to Sedi Smartverse. For today's video, we have a random problem, and it is entitled Division Impossible. Without further ado, let's get started. So here is a random problem for today, which is a division statement that I have found on Reddit some years ago. So here is a division statement consisting of blanks and two numbers, 6 and 0. Our task is to complete the given division statement. Can you complete this statement? If you want to try this problem first, you can pause the video, but if you want to view the full solution, continue watching. The key to solving and completing this division statement is this number 6. We know that this is 6 since the remainder is 0, so our task is to find the last digit. As you can see, we have a one-digit divisor, and at the last division process, we got another one-digit number. So we need to find a digit wherein When it is combined by 6, the result will be a factor of two one-digit numbers. So we have ten numbers that begin with 6 that are two digits. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, and 60. 60, 1, 67 are prime numbers, which means that they cannot be the ones in this last division process. Since we need one digit factors. Furthermore, the factors of 60 are 1 and 60. 2 times 30, 3 times 20, 4 times 15, 5 times 12, 6 times 10. A total of 6 pairs of factors. As you can see, none of them are both one digit, which implies that 60 is not our desired solution as well. So we circle this. 62 is equal to 1 times 62 or 2 times 31, which means that this is not a solution as well. 65 equals 5 times 13 and 1 times 65, nothing else, which means that this is not a solution as well. 66, on the other hand, 1 times 66. 2 times 33, 3 times 22, 6 times 11. None of them are both one digit pairs, so they're out. The same goes with 68, 168, 234, and 470. 69 is 169, and 323, so both of them are out. And now, we're left with two numbers, 63 and 64. Since these are out, we focus on these two factors. 63 can be expressed as 7 times 9. And 64 can be expressed as 8 times 8. 
And now, here we have the solution. And we will find the divisor from these pairs of factors. First, let's try when the divisor is 7. So we have 63. Since this is a one-digit number, it cannot be greater than 7. So this is 7. And this is 13. However, 1, 7, 8. However, and we notice that we cannot fill this blank. This means that 7 is not the divisor we need. How about 8? So we substitute 64, 64, 8, and 8. Or here. Then this is 8, so we have 14. 1, 8, 9. And we still cannot fill this one, which means that 8 is not our divisor. And now we're left with one last option. Since 7 and 8 are not the divisors, we know that the final divisor should be 9. 9, then 63. So 3 is the digit here. 6 plus 9 is 15. So the other digit here is 5. Then 1 plus 9 is 10. This is 7, this is 1, and this is 1. Completing our division statement. So our division statement is 1053 divided by 9 equals 117. And this, guys, is our complete puzzle. <laughs> So that is it for today's video, Kamatverse. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sedis Matters. Also, follow my social media accounts because I post content there on a regular basis. That's it, folks. This is Sedi reminding you to chase your greatest moonbeam and mathematics is incomplete without you. Till next time.